everyone and welcome to another trading video tutorial from MarketGeeks.com. This is Roger Scott and before I begin I'd like to remind you to subscribe to our video channel and please don't forget to visit MarketGeeks.com for your free short-term trading report. About 10 years ago I was working with a professional fund manager who had a PhD in statistics and was a true computer whiz. We worked together with different backtesting software programs that gave us the ability to backtest hundreds of different indicators and trading tactics. The tests were exhausting and involved 30 years of stock market prices. The results were based on pure math, so there was no bias or human intervention involved in manipulating the test results. One of the biggest and most interesting discoveries was about the relationship of volume and price. We wanted to see what type of impact volume had on price. The results proved that volume increase without any type of news or fundamental reports stimulating the stock or the stock sector resulted in 78% of the stocks experiencing a large price change within two trading days of the volume spike. You may think to yourself that's not that surprising because when stocks have sharp volume increase the price usually moves one way or another. This is not the most exciting part of the test results. The best part is out of the number 8 of the 10 stocks remained at the new price level while only 2 stocks went back to the previous price level after 5 trading days. This means that when volume drastically increases and stocks begin moving without any outside news that would explain the move, they end up either continuing moving or staying at the new price level for about one week. When testing sharp volume increase accompanied by fundamental news directly impacting the stock or the stock sector, the stock experienced a dramatic price change about 85% of the time. But only three out of 10 stocks remained at the new price level while seven stocks went back to their previous price level. This communicated to us that when prices move either up or down, when earnings or other information related to the stocks or stock sector is released, the stock has already moved and will reverse direction very quickly to go back to the previous price levels. From this test we learned that entering stocks because news is driving up prices is not, I repeat, not a smart idea because by the time the news comes out the great majority of the stocks already moved either up or down and will be moving back to the previous price level in less than five trading days. The test that was used in our study required at least 75 percent increase in volume over the average volume of the last five trading days. So if your stock's average daily volume is about 1 million shares, you would look for volume over 1.75 million shares. The entry would occur at the end of the day on a MOC, which is a market on close order, and the position was held for five days. The exit would occur at the end of the trading session on day five using the same MOC order. We learned from this test that when volume is used the right way, it can be one of the best stock market analysis tools. When volume is rising sharply and stocks begin moving, the first thing you want to see is if there's any news that could be causing the sharp volume increase. If there's no fundamental news causing the sharp rise in volume, the odds are in your favor that any significant change in the price of the stock is meaningful and real. If on the other hand you notice a sharp increase in volume and there's a fundamental reason behind it, the odds are very strong that the move is temporary or may already come to an end and will most likely be reversing within the next five trading days. Thanks for joining us for today's trading tutorial. Don't forget to visit MarketGeeks.com for your free swing trading report. Wishing you all the best in your trading.